crucial element in color correction and online editing is having a good waveform monitor. I've always pointed out the importance of having these be external displays, like the Tektronix WFM5200, and there are a few good reasons why you should use a Tektronix waveform monitor instead of relying on the built-in software scopes. The first reason is that the internal scopes are just showing you the hypothetical output of the computer, but an external waveform monitor is on the other side of your video card, so it's showing you the actual output of the card. The next reason is that a dedicated waveform monitor has much better resolution than the internal AVID waveform displays. Let's take a look at this critical difference. So the resolution of your waveform monitor is a very critical thing when you're trying to do color correction. And I think you can see, if you look, here's our Tektronix waveform monitor. And one of the things that you're able to do in the Tektronix waveform monitor is if I press the thumbnail button, I can uh, look at different displays in full screen mode. I can also hold this button down and look at a 4-up display looking at my RGB waveform and a vector scope picture monitor and something else over here. Could be audio, could be anything I want. Now for the best resolution, if I'm trying to look at this RGB waveform, I just want to press this thumbnail button over here. Got to cycle through them, hold that thumbnail button down and that will jump me to the large screen. So now that we're on this large screen, you can see that we've got a ton of resolution. Compared to, take a look at the screenshot here we have. We're inside the color correction mode of Media Composer. I've got this picture up of this interview. And you can see a vector scope in this monitor and a RGB parade over here. And the resolution of these is really pretty rough. Let me just show you also quickly how I got into these internal scopes using these menus at the top and you can choose an RGB histogram if you want to. I want to see an RGB parade. And over here I've got a vector scope. If I wanted to I could look at a regular Y waveform monitor. But I'm going to look at this vector scope. So that's how you can get those called up. They really can't be any larger than they are right now on the screen. There's really no way to call them up into a full screen mode. So we're kind of stuck with them at this resolution. Now, if you look very closely at the top of this, one of the ways that you can tell where there's clipping or uh, an image that's so bright that you've lost detail is by looking at the top of this waveform right up in here and how compressed it is. And actually, I'm not seeing a lot of compression or clipping on the AVID waveforms. What I want to do is go take a look at the waveform monitor on the Tektronix scope. So if you compare the AVID waveform monitor with this Tektronix waveform monitor, you can see this clipping going on. You see this very bright thin line here and across here and across here. That's clipping and it's not showing us that clipping in the AVID internal waveform monitor but on this Tektronix scope, which believe me is more accurate. Being able to see this clipping is an important part of being able to color correct this image. The other thing that we can see is down here at the very bottom, you can see that I'm actually going to black. I'm taking this image below zero IRE on the waveform monitor. And on the AVID, you really can't see on that same thing. If you look right down here, you're not really seeing, or it's much harder to see, that's going on. So the Tektronix is really giving us a lot more critical detail, both in our highlights and in our shadows, to be able to do a proper color correction. And that's one of the reasons why the Tektronix is a much better tool to do color correction with because of its superior resolution.